I'm RJ Gottlieb. I've been the driver of Big Red Camaro since 1987. Big Red is the fastest 69 Camaro in the world. With 2,000 horsepower, this beast is ready to dominate the road. It's been a year since Team Big Red made their debut on the salt. And with lots of hard lessons behind them, the team returns to chase their hopes for speed and a record. Heavy rains this year led to the cancellation of Speed Week, but Big Red was among a very select group of cars invited to the Mike Cook Shootout, the only event to be held on the salt this year. The Mike Cook Shootout is an annual event sanctioned by the FIA for world records. Admission to the event is by invitation only, making this the playground of the world's fastest vehicles. It's really an invitation-only event that is designed for the best of the best. Speed Week will actually have 500 entrants. There will probably be uh, 10 or 15 entrants here today, and they're all on an invite basis. Normally in Speed Week, you know, we can only get one, two runs a day. It can be hours in line. Uh, we come out here now, and as you can see, uh, we almost got the place to ourselves, and uh, we're really looking forward to getting uh, a lot of runs in and uh, testing some things that we normally wouldn't get the chance to do. Our record that we're shooting for is an average of 246 miles an hour. We've actually never gone that fast, but I think uh, she's capable of doing it now. My biggest problem last year at Speed Week was the fact that we couldn't get enough traction. And in fact, on the last run when we finally got enough traction, that's when it blew up the engine. At a lower setting, we'll be putting out about 1,600 horsepower. It should be a, enough to do what we need to get done. So I don't know if there's really a big need to power but if there is we certainly have it so what kind of speeds are you thinking we can do with this gear 250 that's what we're hearing for right now you gotta actually see if we can uh, run 250 that's kind of our goal at this point so you want to do a full run three mile but i mean like all out yes three. yep on the first day of racing dave and the team are cautious and conservative with the car they're hungry for information that'll come from a modest test pass the last thing they want is to hurt the motor on the first few runs. It's not like yeah. asphalt, you know, so it's still, you got to work it out. On day two of the Cook shootout, Team Big Red is just about ready to take the car to the line when they discover a serious problem. One of water pumps is it's running, but it's not pumping water. <sighs> okay. I got suited up and uh, getting ready to make a run, and basically uh, they discovered that one of the two water pumps on the car uh, wasn't functioning. To further complicate the problem, uh, the spare water pump we have is not exactly the same as the ones that are on it. So we're going to have to do a, a little bit of uh, in-the-field work to get a water pump that's not exactly the same as the one that came off of it to fit on it and work. The team is trying everything they can think of to determine the source of the water system failure. This fix is vital to the car's engine, and Big Red is marooned until the problem is solved. The repairs drag on and eat up valuable time. RJ is sidelined as other racers hit the salt. We're going to change and put the pump on the side that we're having problems with. If we get the same result, then, 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 you we, know it's clogged. then we know it's clogged. This could take all day, right? It could. Having lost an entire day to the water pump problem, Dave and the crew begin day three with the hope that an improvised solution will get Big Red running again. And the one good pump that we, original pump that we had, and we plumbed it to do basically the job of, of the two pumps, so it's actually watering both sides of the motor instead of just one now. Good flow. Okay, stop it. Uh, it seems to flow really good. We're gonna do a two mile test run. The team is happy enough with the fix, but they'll need to make a series of test runs to check engine temperatures.
right now the temperatures are like this, and we're going to try to get it like that. So we're not out of the woods yet? Not out of the woods yet. They're going to restrict the flow on the cool side with the idea of forcing more water and pressure to the other side. So we got to go out for another test run. Big Red's cooling system is working, but just barely. The team tries a low-tech approach and adds ice to the water tank to keep engine temps within the safe zone. This morning, one side of the engine got up to 215 degrees. That same side on the last run only got to 180. After this last run, where I averaged 221, and with a top speed of 228 miles an hour, we're now starting to say, OK, well, how do we go faster than that? The car performed pretty good yesterday on the three-mile mark, but it just didn't have the, the boost that we were hoping for. We decided to put some blower in the thing now, make some more boost, and, and make this thing a little less lazy, and go for it. So we're hoping to make about 15 to 16 pounds of boost. We've only made up to now about seven pounds. There was a, a talk I wanted to give the team just because of how good their attitude was and, and how just everything they did, how hard they were working and how tough the conditions were. So I kind of want to give them that talk. And I realized it's a good chance this is the last run and this is kind of it. So I just thought, hey, now's the moment. I said, get everyone together. It means so much to me that you guys are here, that you guys have such a good attitude. I just want to thank you guys. What can I say? I, don't want, I can't start crying before I do possibly the biggest <laughs> run of my life. You guys are the best. I'm going to go out there and give it all I can, whatever it takes. So let's, let's, let's make it happen, guys. Let's make it happen. After all the hard work and frustrations, the team is finally ready to put Big Red on the line and do what they came here to do. They're shooting for 250 miles per hour. They've set the engine on kill, and it's time to go big or go home. but I hit the thing, it immediately just went blah, like popping, missing, I mean, just barfed. And it sounded horrible. So I immediately took my finger off, and then it sounded like I was doing OK there, and I was just going to sneak up on it real slow, and it basically let go at the low sixes. In the fourth mile, at over 230 miles per hour, the engine blew and took with it Team Big Red's hopes this year of reaching the high water mark of 250 miles per hour at Bonneville. Some records at Bonneville have never been broken, and some have stood for decades. There's a good reason for this. Achieving a goal on the salt has never been easy, and it keeps them coming back year after year. It's a little discouraging, but I'll be back here, and I'm gonna go 250 here. Just not today.
Gallon Fueled Action, then hit the like, follow, and subscribe button. Well, come join us for heart-pounding thrills and high-speed excitement.